Okay folks, we're back again. Today I'm going to try and base coat my little F7 that I was stripping and spraying fluorescent red on in the last video. I got it pretty well stripped. You guys might have seen my posts on Train Life. So we got our spray booth outdoors because I don't have one inside. It's a little bit of a breeze. You can see the grass is moving over there. Got my future floor wax, got my gloves, got my airbrush set up. I don't have my paint mixed yet. We're going to be using this uh, poly, no, yeah, poly scale reefer white. Um, and I got these little mixing jars that are graduated, so that's pretty good to figure out how much we want. They say four parts paint to one part thinner. So we'll do that and give it a whirl. Got a bottle. This is used alcohol. Got a container to spray out my airbrush into. Uh, this is a container of uh, just water with a little bit of alcohol and some dish soap for cleaning out the airbrush. Got brought my big air nozzle, but I didn't use it. I used the airbrush itself to dry the model because I washed it in hot and warm water and soapy water to get all the fingerprints off and I'm not using the compressor today I'm using my big tank compressor in the garage but I got it plumbed in here to my extension hose so let me mix up some paint figure out a good place to put the camera and I'll be right back okay got my paint stirred up we're gonna put some in the little graduation and if I go to 10 that's yep that's quite a bit of paint got my little paper towel here held on to by a closed pin and so we want four parts to one so I really don't need a lot of future. That ought to be about right. I'll shake this up. Get that all stirred up. Once I get this bottle loaded, we'll uh, put the gloves on. Um, should mention we're going to paint this in the uh, Great Northern Big Sky Blue scheme. So it'll have a white stripe down the side, arching down the nose, gray on top, and uh, blue on the body side. At least, that's my hope. all that into the, the clean out bucket. So this will be the first test of my Harbor Freight brush because I'm base coating I'm not going to use the posh. Give this thing a whirl, give it a shake down. Always take a test shot before you start on your model. So I have my trusty fluorescent board. Okay. That's going to be good. Okay, here we go. Now I'm going to shoot... Hmm. I think I'm going to shoot down the top first, then the back, and then we'll do the sides and the nose. Just putting on a light coat just so we get even color. Oh, too much. Okay, let's get this back because it's got a lot of nooks and crannies on it. Now 
Now this will be gray, and I'm hoping that those little yellow specks that I didn't get cleaned off will get covered up. I'm not going to worry about getting all down in the, the grills because they're going to get a wash after we're done anyway to help darken them up. I do want the cab pretty well done. And these sides nice and even here. Even from one side to the other. Okay. I think we're pretty good. Back could use a smidge more. It's tough to get all down in that detail around the door but if we just keep working at it a little bit of a run that would be all right okay and I don't know if you can see it or not used to be a little ridge line right along here across the top of the cab and down the other side and I was going to use a um, nail buffer to take that out but I just used a razor blade and and scraped it lightly and I think I did a pretty good job of blending it in you can still see it just a little bit but it's much better than what it was so We'll let that set and dry. Get that on there. I need to add some little uh, pieces of foam here and here on my little clamp so that it holds the body secure a little more securely, but it's doing a good job. And I really didn't use all that much paint out of here. So we will. Ooh, that's a weepy thing, isn't it? Okay, so we will put the big jar on and take my spray bucket and we'll clean this puppy out. See, I'm spraying it on my glove too, since it gives me a little more contrast. And you can see that there's still pigment. A little bit, but not much. So this would probably be why most people hate airbrushing, is because it takes so long to clean out the gun. But it's not really hard, it's just a matter of volume. Keep spraying until it comes out clean. Okay, I probably sprayed longer than I needed to because I think most of that white milky that I was seeing was the soap that's in the water. But it's clean. It's definitely clean now. So <laughs> spray out the last bit and let the brush dry out. Yeah, sprayed that much through there. That bottle was full. 
Now the big problem of what to do with the leftover paint that I have mixed. <coughs> well, I have a couple extra bottles, so this, which I still have quite a bit of paint in there, I will put in that. Be right back. <coughs> Don't have as many bottles as I thought I did, so I have this big bottle. Or I can put it back in here, which I don't think it'll hurt anything, because I really didn't thin it that much, and uh, that'll be all right. And that's quite a bit of paint. You can see it down in there. Okay. So this is what it's going to look like underneath the layout lighting. This is on my little uh, angle look sightings switching layout. You can see a few blemishes. I got a little scratch right here. Don't know if that shows up in the camera or not. but. Back end looks pretty good. And there's a little scratch on this side, right here in this panel. I guess I should point with a little pointer right there. But I think it's okay for a first attempt. Uh, the stripe, if I remember right, comes right along here just below the, the vents. But it may come down the vents and then down over the nose. I can't, I'll have to go look. I'll post a picture of the plan that I'm going to do, the paint scheme. And the, so the top turned out nice. So we'll, I'll post a picture of this. I'm going to give this a few hours to dry. We're going to go for a motorcycle ride and then uh, we'll. Uh, get the paint scheme all laid out, figure out what we're going to do, mask the top and the bottom. The, the fuel tank area is going to be gray and the top is going to be gray and the top of the nose will have some gray on it and I'll have to look at the paint scheme and then go find a set of decals for this thing um, but we'll give it a good time to dry and set it back there so it's not going to get disturbed go. It's back there. On the layout. Well, what there is of the layout. And, uh, oh, yeah, I forgot. I added a, a little paper mock-up building. Just something I printed out. What the heck was this? Oh, this is supposed to have a door on the end here and on the other end and that would be over top of the siding and that would be the uh, car unloading for the grain elevator but I haven't cut out the ends yet I just thought I'd put it out here and see how it looked give you a sense of scale see how hard it was to uncouple stuff on there obviously if the buildings gonna have to be removable if you're gonna do that so alright well we'll see you next time bye bye hope you have a good train day